Hey guys, Wayne here from H2 Tech Videos. Today I want to show you how to mirror your Moto E5 Play screen to your TV using a Chromecast. A Chromecast, for those of you that are not familiar, is a device made by Google. Um, they run anywhere from $30 to about $70, depending on which model you get. And there are basically uh, two requirements you have to meet in order to use a Chromecast. The first one is going to be uh, you have to have an HD TV that has an HDMI connection. The second thing is you do need home Wi-Fi to make this work. So if you have home Wi-Fi and you have an HD TV with an HDMI uh, input, that's all you need. Um, so uh, once you press the device, you plug it up, you're going to set it up on your home Wi-Fi network, and then on your Moto E5 Play screen, you're gonna swipe down from the top and swipe down again and swipe to your left. You will have a cast button. Now, the cool thing about this is all you have to do is basically hit the cast button and it's gonna give you an option to find your Chromecast. So I'm gonna hit it right now, cast. And the name of my Chromecast is Office TV. You're able to customize it, name it whatever you want. So I'm gonna tap on that. And you're gonna give it a second. And there it is. We're able to see it on our TV. And now anything I do, we'll be able to see it right from the TV. Now, um, so there's two ways for you to cast your screen. This is the first way. This is, I want whatever's on my screen to show exactly that way on the TV. So for example, this is great for looking at uh, pictures, um, gameplay, if you're you know, playing Candy Crush or you know, Temple Run or some fun game and you want everybody in the room to be able to see it, this is how you can get them to see it. Um, there is another way to cast your screen that's better for watching video. I don't recommend this option because again, whatever is on your screen is gonna show on the TV. So let's say you wanted to watch a movie and you still wanted to send text messages and look at your social media, um, all that will show up on the TV and you wouldn't want that. So what we're gonna do is swipe back down again, go to the right and we're gonna basically uh, tap on this and disconnect the, the cast so now it's not mirroring the screen anymore, okay? Now, here's how you wanna do it. So I'm gonna do this with a YouTube video. I'm just gonna tap on one of my uh, recent videos this was an iPhone video. So, after the ad is finished, of course. We'll skip that. So I'm just gonna pause the video. What you're gonna do is, um, any video uh, app that you're in, so we're in YouTube, but Hulu, Netflix, uh, just about all the video streaming apps will have this cast icon in the upper right corner of the video. You're gonna tap on that, and then we're gonna hit uh, Office TV, that's our Chromecast. And now it's gonna mirror just the video onto the TV. So now we can see our video playing, and you can control it from your phone if you wanna pause it or whatever. But the cool thing is now, your video is going to play on the TV, but you can still use your phone. So I can still go through here and open whatever app I want, send text messages, whatever. And my video is going to play on the TV uh, seamlessly. And to control the, the video, all you do is swipe down from your notification panel. You can play pause right from there. You can control the volume, you use your phone volume to control it, or you can use the TV volume. Sometimes that does vary. But that's it guys. Um, these are the two ways to mirror your screen. Again, for the purposes of, of watching video, I do recommend using the, the option where you just cast the video and not your whole screen, just so that, uh, again, you don't, have, um, you don't have all this stuff showing on the TV because most people are gonna wanna use their phone while they're casting their screen. So when you're done, you're gonna swipe down from the top and you can pause the video again from there or you can hit the X and just close it out altogether and that will stop it from mirroring. All right, I hope you guys did find this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Hit that subscribe button and make sure you also follow us on Instagram at H2 Tech Videos for monthly giveaways and a bunch of other cool stuff. Thanks again for watching guys. Take care and have a good one.